Hey guys, uh, I want to uh, make a video on one of my most prized possessions in my uh, farm literature collection. Um, like I say, I have a massive uh, International Harvester uh, literature collection, uh, as well as some other odds and ends. Um, so I'll get right into this video and uh, show you one of my uh, most prized possessions here. This here is a uh, basically a parts flyer. Um, from 1958 uh, from International Harvester. You can see it says fall and winter savings on genuine IH tractor parts. Um, this was a uh, flyer that came in the mail to uh, my great grandmother on the farm. Um, this is uh, probably in its day would be considered something like junk mail. Uh, anytime you get some flyer in the mail, but um, it survived. It made it from 1958. Uh, it sat in a box in an old summer kitchen and the mice chewed up a lot of the literature in there and uh, when we found it I was so happy to find all this stuff this was still in uh, in good shape so just want to show you some of the things I actually took this to my local uh, Case IH dealer and asked if they would honor some of the prices <laughs> so I'll show you some of the prices that are in here of uh, different parts or uh, things that you might need for your international equipment it's neat it's a full color booklet um, of course they have some advertising in here uh, the old style uniforms that they used to wear with the patch on the sleeve and the hat they, those were pretty neat um, blue ribbon service that was a big thing that international had uh, all the way up to the 70s and 80s that was the uh, one of their mottos of blue ribbon service um, so let's say uh, you want overhaul your uh, tractor so you want uh, New pistons, it says uh, install matched uh, increased bore sleeves, oversized aluminum pistons. In 1958, you could already get the oversized aluminum pistons. Uh, let's say you had an H, Farmall H gas, $64.11. I'll just zoom in on this so you can guys can see the prices. And you see this was the year they were up to the MD diesel, uh, Super MD. So yeah, it's neat that this is a full color, and I'm going to put some of these pictures up on Instagram then uh, to share some of the farm history here. Um, but yeah, this book is basically everything you need. Um, here you can get your uh, new valves, uh, gasket sets. Uh, gasket set for the Super C was $2.28. Uh, chrome uh, ring set, <coughs> crankshaft. Let's see, you need a repowered... Uh, Repowered crankshaft. I'll zoom in on the prices there. So you have a 400. You can get a new crankshaft for $86. Uh, it says IH factory renewed crankshaft. So I wonder if this was early reman stuff uh, back in 58. Carburetor kit for a Farmall H was 83 cents. <laughs> so you really get a sense of... Like I say, it's nice that this is a some more light here full color um, and I know there's older ones out there probably but uh, I really really like this one being that it, it was on the farm here's some more carburetor repair kits here uh, muffler let's see you want a muffler for your Farmall M eight dollars and forty one cents manifold um, spark arresters <laughs> that's another thing uh, those were expensive. It was twenty-five dollars for one for an H for spark arrester. Twelve volt electrical conversion kits. They were converting uh, tractors to twelve volt back in nineteen fifty-eight, and you could buy a kit. And here you got the updated. Uh, there's your resistor, and uh, there's the whole kit. And what do we got here for three hundred to four fifty? Pay eighty-three bucks. So here you got your ammeter, voltage regulators, you can get both 6 and 12 volt, uh, spark plug cables, International Harvester spark plugs. Uh, let's see, batteries, you had your auto lights, and auto light makes pretty good spark plugs. Um, I know we use, still use them to this day. You get your battery cables. Jumper cables. Six bucks. <laughs> oh, better days. 
Governor overhaul kits. That's pretty neat. You can get a whole kit. And let's see, Governor Spring, your belts. Get a new throttle lever if yours is wore out. So, yeah, I'll just take you through this book a little bit and we'll talk about some of this stuff here. There's some pretty neat stuff near the end of this. Uh, Pre-cleaners, uh, basically anything you needed for your farmall tractors. Thermostats, looks like one for a... Uh, M is two two dollars and seven cents seventy cents. Um, yeah, here we get into kind of some of the tools and accessories. That's what's neat. Um, we had your filters. A uh, filter for the Super C and engine oil filter was eighty nine cents. Fuel gauges. Maybe somebody probably didn't know that they had fuel gauges that uh, could go in the tank. For most models, six dollars and twenty five cents. Uh, fuel tank caps, uh, oil pressure, breather caps, uh, you had your grease fittings, get an oil can, grease gun bucket, get a grease gun holster, just keep going through here, hydraulic cylinders, pick up your hydraulic cylinders, uh, three and a half by eight for 48 bucks, hydraulic hose, and couplers and you figure the 50s hydraulics were just starting to really get uh, streamlined and tractor windbreakers those are still neat you can still get these today um, to find one with the IH windbreaker there's very few of these that survived uh, we never had one we had an umbrella but if you wanted a windbreaker back then it was 32 bucks and you could even get the full sturdy top attachment even with the back door you could have a full and plastic cab and of course your seat cushions and seats. Keep going here a little bit. Uh, tire pump. I was just talking about this. I was talking about this in a previous video. Um, International Harvester had a engine operated tire pump. I'll just show you this here. Here's an easy way to inflate your tires. Just remove one of the spark plug. Um, screw an adapter into the hole. And idling the engine pumps up your tire. Pays for itself in preventing underinflated tire damage. $7.25. I almost owned one of these. I wish I would have got it. I was talking about that, so you guys know I wasn't lying. You could get a uh, an engine-powered air compressor for your tractor uh, for $7. Um, headlights, safety lamps, flashers, tacks, drawbar, optional step. So they even had accessories back in 58. Cigarette lighter, of course you have to light your cigarette and your cigar back in the 50s. And you had your uh, international fire extinguishers. I mean, they had IH stamped on everything. They were uh, pretty well making everything. Rust preventative compound, there's your WD-40. Um, Harvester red paint, premium antifreeze. I have a couple of those jugs that are the IH metal. I think they're for Hytran. Implement parts Look for the IH. I guess it was stamped on a lot of stuff discs Plowshares Rotary cutter blades And again make sure you look for the IH <laughs> Even then they said to use only factory parts Disc blades they look like they're about three dollars a piece of course you have, they're still using peg teeth harrows back then. Uh, the shovel, let's see, these are still used today. Two bucks, about two dollars and fifty cents for that style. Sweep, for a deluxe sweep, you can pay up to five dollars for one. So. <laughs> Here these are... Um, Hose kits, neoprene hose kits for your grain drills, for your drop hoses, seed tubes. Every, anybody had uh, international grain drills knows about those metal pipes, and then they switch to the neoprene. Roller bearings, chains and links. You have your chain tool there. All your different clevises you could get. And even put, what's real neat at the end of this, a want list. <laughs> even back then, you could fill in what you wanted. So... Yeah, pretty. So yeah, pretty neat book. I have another one here. I'll show you quick. This video is getting a little bit long. Um, 
This was a flyer, how to get more service per dollar from your farm engines. This was put out by the Champion Spark Plug Company. You can see they have all the different makes of tractors here. And basically it just goes into how to service a small, this one's a little bit weathered, how to service small engines. Uh, your distributor, check your carburetor. They just go into a whole thing here about uh, servicing gas engines and of course all about spark plugs being that it was from a champion spark plug dealer how to diagnose your spark plugs <coughs> excuse me so check your cooling system you got a john deere there what is that like a 60 or 50 i don't know so yeah just a couple old uh, books i have here on uh some old farm literature. Like I say, I have a lot of this stuff, but this is one of my favorites. I, it, being that it's full color and uh, you get to see all the prices, it's a pretty neat sales flyer. Uh, farm toys, I'll just get into that a little bit. I used to have a massive farm toy collection when I was younger, but like a lot of kids, uh, you were playing out in the dirt pile with them and a lot of them weren't in the boxes. Um, yeah, this is an H Precision Series. This one's pretty fancy. The, uh, the brakes even work and everything. Um, Finally, I decided to uh, get rid of all my farm toys. I just sold them as one big lot on eBay. Um, so then I was only going to get the toys that uh, of the equipment that I owned. And then that's why I bought the Super C wide front. But it just kind of, people get them for you and you end up with more and more of them. Um, I don't have as much as I used to, but yeah, farm toys are another nice thing to collect. Um, my father-in-law actually has a massive collection. He, I mean, he has in the hundreds, if not a thousand of them. Uh, with the original boxes so uh, it's pretty neat to go to go to that place and look them all over so but I, I kind of got out of collecting the farm toys so all right this video is long enough uh, thank you guys for watching and if you want to see more of this kind of stuff let me know I'll keep digging through the boxes and uh, sit down and go through some of it so thanks for watching guys